SPE YMAC uh, for the season 2021-22. Uh, I'd like to welcome you all and uh, hope uh, you will be enjoying it today. Can we go to the next slide, please? So uh, let me first start by giving you a flavor of who we are and uh, what we do. So uh, the Young Member Engagement Committee, or YMAC, is one of the standing committees uh, in uh, SP International, where we work into developing and implementing programs that are targeting the SPE young members who are just graduated, but uh, yeah, under the 35, 36 years old. So we help you and help all the professionals improve their technical skills and leadership skills through uh, a lot of programs and activities that we do throughout the years. And uh, we'll be going through some of those ones. And we also help the students who just graduated and becoming professionals to make this transition from being a student into being a professional. It's a time uh, of uncertainty and we help them uh, guide through their career and uh, develop again their leadership skills. Uh, another thing is we have a communication line with the board of SPE. So we are kind of voice of the young members that uh, we can send recommendations to the ASPE International Board. You can always find us on spe.org website where you go to membership and then you find the young professionals or you can find us on other social media, LinkedIn, Facebook, IG, all of them. Can go to the next slide, please. So this is how our uh, organization looks like. There is a, from here, there is a board liaison and then we connect to the board. And this is the our one young members uh, engagement committee chair, a chairperson who, uh, who then leads all those programs. We can be divided into those three subcommittees, the students and the innovation and communication subcommittee and each has uh, the programs where there's a program owner for those ones. So, uh, and the aim of this uh, town halls is to bring you guys closer to what we do, where the, every, for every town hall, we will be featuring one or uh, three of our uh, projects. Uh, so there you guys can understand it better and participate. So, uh, if we go, this is basically what we do. There is uh, our ALP programs and student paper contest and Petrobol. There's a lot of uh, programs that we're proud of and there are more programs to come. So uh, I leave the floor to Orkin, uh, Orkin who will speak more about uh, the Petrobol this year. Orkin, over to you. Uh before you start, Orhan, uh, thank you all of you for attending today. Good morning, good afternoon for those in the uh, um, Eastern Hemisphere. Uh, uh, it's 7 a.m. in Egypt, so uh, I hope all of you uh, have and enjoy that amazing event for us uh, in SPE YMEC. Uh, we will have uh, discussions uh, at the end of the presentation. Please uh, prepare your questions if you have a questions. If you have suggestions for our activities uh, to be enhanced or you have an idea to be applied in our activities, please don't, uh, don't uh, hesitate to share this with us uh, at the end of the presentation. Uh, first of all, we will start with Petropol Championship and the co-lead for this is Urhan. The mic is yours, Urhan. Uh, hello, everyone. It's 9 a.m. here, so uh, good morning to you. Hope all of you are doing great. My name is Orkan from Wymic Petrobol team. Uh, I will give you some information and latest updates about Petrobol 2022, and I hope my voice are uh, audible. Uh, let me start with the purpose of Petrobol uh, 2022 committee, which are the standardization of the regional competitions so that they are all organized in the same format as that of the international championship. Creation of one question bank to be used in all regional competitions and one separate separate question bank to be used for the championship itself. Uh, 
and supporting the regional directors in hosting their regional competitions. So the first update is this year, regional competitions will be uh, kind of organized by the YMEC team itself. YMEC members are responsible for uh, all Petrobol 2022 competitions, both regional and international ones. The members who are involved in uh, organization of the games are uh, James and Jan from uh, SP International staff side, uh, Cassandra, who is uh, currently our Petrobol leader, and uh, me and Ehsan, uh, Ishan uh, will be the colleagues of the competition. The question committee consists of Philip and Philip, who are the uh, leads, and uh, they were the winner of the Petrobol 2021. Uh, previous Petrobol competitions. Paul and Paul Hazik and Parag uh, will be supporting uh, supporting them and responsible for the distribution of question sets uh, to be uh, distributed between uh, question reviewers. Uh, we are also looking for three more volunteers to support this team from Africa, Middle East, and Europe regions. So. Uh, if you are uh, from one of those regions, or if you know someone from those regions uh, who can help us, please uh, get in touch with us. Uh, the condition is that they must be previous Petrobol players and uh, hopefully winners. Also, they must be uh, young professionals. Currently, we have approximately 50 question reviewers. However, we need a lot more. If we can get at least 10 question reviewers per discipline, this will be ideal as it uh, will help with the workload. Question reviewers must have at least eight years of professional experience in the discipline they would like to be assigned to. The question reviewers will be responsible for reviewing the questions, ensuring they are worded properly, che checking the sources and ensuring that the answers are correct. They will also be responsible for writing new questions. Uh, in the disciplines if we are lacking any questions. One condition for question reviewers uh, is that they cannot be students or the uh, university faculty members because, uh, as you know, the competition Petrobol is uh, meant for students. Currently, Petrobol questions, question writer and question reviewer volunteering positions are open in the SP uh, website. As I said, if you are interested in contributing to the Petrobol 2022, or you know anybody who would like to help us, please go to our website and apply for the opportunity. The questions will be related to 11 disciplines, which are uh, first, reservoir engineering to uh, production and operations, drilling engineering, completions engineering, project facilities and constructions, data science and engineering analytics, which are uh, new, general engineering, HSE and sustainability, management, non-technical, and uh, finally, energy transition. So uh, questions will be coming from these disciplines. We will be hosting a meeting with the question reviewers on Saturday uh, to initiate the question review process. Uh, it should be noted that everyone who is part of the question committee, whether it is the organizers or uh, question writers, question reviewers, they are required to sign a confidentiality agreement in order to uh, secure the integrity of the competition. The first region to hold the regional qualifiers is North America. This will occur on uh, 28th of February and 1st of March. This means we have less than three months, maybe only two, <clears throat> if we take into consideration the holidays, to create a question bank of approximately 2,000 questions. For this uh, reason we have developed a strategy which is we have decided to use the current Petrobol database uh, for the regional competition. So we will distribute the questions between uh, regions and they will use the original Petrobol questions in their regional qualifiers, uh, rewarding the questions, checking their sources and ensuring they are of high quality. We will create all new questions for the championships for the regionals, new questions will be added for the disciplines that are lacking questions. We will focus on the regionals until March. By the end of March, we should have a bibliography for the championship, which will be shared with all students to ensure they are fully prepared for the championship in October. <clears throat> Currently, I am, the, uh, I am leading the communications committee and we are in the process of interviewing Ken candidates to join our PR team, uh, PR team of Petrobol. 
Stay connected to our Petrobol and MyMec my Mac social media accounts on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter uh, to be updated on volunteer positions, regional competitions, study resources, etc. You can find us on those platforms by just looking for Petrobol. Also, if you are requiring additional information about the competition, please feel free to drop us an email at petrobol2022 at gmail.com or petrobol at sp.org or message us on any of our social media accounts. Uh, we will respond immediately. Petrobol 2022 will be in hybrid format, which is another update for you, which means we will have parallel competitions online and in person. Therefore, we are updating our software for hybrid format. The software team consists of SP International staff who are currently trying to upgrade LACR software so we can use it in a hybrid format for teams that may not be able to attend ATC 2022. Most regional directors have already confirmed that their regionals will be held in person, but if it's online and if, if you need, if you are the organizer of Petrobol regional qualifiers, uh, and if you need any support on software side, please get in touch with us. We will provide you with the software as well. We are still in concept mode, and once we have more details on the software, we will share it with you. And uh, I guess that's all uh, I have to say for now. Thank you, everyone, for your time and participation in today's town hall. I don't know if we have time to take some uh, quick questions, but if, if we have time and if you have anything to ask, please do. I will be uh, more than happy to answer them. OK, thank you, Orhan. Uh, please, uh, if you have the name of Petropol uh, and or uh, your contacts for Petropol committee, please share, us, share with us in the meeting chat. Thank you for uh, your. Uh... Uh, I, I'm afraid I won't be able to share the contacts of question committee because, uh, you know, there are some uh, conflict of interest problems we had previously and we don't want to have the same problem uh, okay. but i can share the contact of leads and uh, pr team software team whichever you want okay thank you Orhan. thank you for present your presentation um and now we we will go for uh spe uh, why make sorry why make speaks gaia and uh, i will let the floor for sadaf uh, the co-lead for this committee on behalf of Nihal Munir. Go ahead. Uh, thank you, Mohammed. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Sadaf. Uh, I am part of communications team at YMAC. So I'll be uh, walking you through this SP, uh, YMAC Speaks Gaia slides. Uh, can you please move on to the next slide? Okay. So um, basically, why make Speaks Gaia? This is a series uh, of an in-person events uh, that talks about the sustainability topics, uh, but it is geared towards students and young professionals. So what we are aiming to have two sessions that we have confirmed for the first quarter of 2022. Uh, first is in uh, uh, Offshore Europe conference that is actually on the screen that you can see right now. Um, which is happening in Feb in Scotland. So CCS is as an essential technology to economically meet long-term climate targets for risk mitigation uh, through achieving the deep uh, decarbonization um, is hard to obey the industry uh, while delivering negative uh, uh, emissions. So CCS is also a driver for economic growth, uh, sustainable em employment opportunities. This panel session, um, aims to open the discussion on the value of CCS carbon capture and storage by providing an insight on the recent analysis of uh, and research uh, and publish. So this would be a TED talk style uh, session. Uh, each session would be comprising of 25 minutes, uh, where 15 to 20 minutes for the presentation and five minutes for, for discussion. Um, the discussion would be on the policy framework for CCS scale up, uh, European storage resource requirement for, for climate, change mitigations and targets, and CCS best practices uh, account projects. So this is about the, uh, the offshore Europe session that we are aiming. Thank you, Mohammed. And the next part, uh, as, as I talked about earlier, that we have two sessions planned for first quarter. The second one is in uh, IPTC. Um, 
that is International Petroleum Technology Conference uh, that is also happening in Feb, first quarter of 2022 uh, in Saudi Arabia. So uh, over here, um, we are collaborating uh, between uh, um, YMEC Gaia and IPTC. So circular carbon economy uh, that is defined as a framework for, for managing and reducing the emissions. It is also a loop system involving uh, uh, four RS reduce uh, four hours like reduce reuse recycle and remove recently this concept has gained traction in the industry and also a policy as a pathway to deliver resources efficiency however the circular carbon economy uh, deals with the economics economy which is uh, uh, which is divorced uh, in nature next generation of solutions must include account for nature we are dealing with the the century of practice. The question is how quickly uh, pivot. So this is the second session that we are aiming to do in the first quarter of 2022 and uh, in, in, under the series of uh, YMX Speaks Gaia. So that is about it for this uh, topic now. If, if there are any questions related to the topic, I'd be happy to answer them. You can post your questions into the chat box. Uh, we can have them now or at the end of the session. Thank you. Thank you, Sadaf for your presentation for uh, our unique event, uh, SPE YMEC Speaks Gaia. Uh, and thank you for your presentation and for your insights. And if you have any questions, please uh, leave it in the chat or write it down and we can have a discussion at the end of the presentation or the town hall event. Uh, for the next, uh, we will have Ismail Leah, uh, who will have uh, the co-lead for uh, uh, LB and Pastor Lecture Program uh, program committee in SPEY MEC committee. So Smalaya, it is your turn. All right, good morning, everybody. My name is Ismaila Ibrahim. I am in the YMEC Innovation Subcommittee. I hope everybody can hear me clearly. Yes. All right. So today I uh, will be talking about the ambassador lecture program. We are on the next slide, please. All right, thank you. So part of the 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 updates that we are having in the ambassador lecture programs committee. We are organizing um, a session where we will train um, some ambassadorial lecturers sometimes in January. This program is organized such a way that uh, we are going to enlighten members, young members in SP and other members who are interested in the ambassadorial lecture program where they will understand you know, the, the, the procedures and models of organizing an ALP. We have also made some updates to the existing guidelines in the, in the ALP best practices and the things that are needed for us to, to set up a proper ALP. We are, we are still working on that. And then in the course of the, this uh, coming year, we will share updates that uh, we have made on that. We have also you know, worked and uh, improved on the ALP award. The ALP award, you know, is uh, is an award that is given to to a particular section of um, young professionals for having organized the, the most uh, ALPs. So what I mean ALP, I'm talking about the ambassador lecture program. We are also developing another program that is going to be a global ALP. So we are updating a database where we have young as register to, to become ambassador lecturers. So in that same database, we'll have access to a lot of speakers where members can come online and request to have a speaker speak with them. So that is one of the new programs that uh, we are working on. And then in the course of the, the, the year, which is in 2022, we are going to share more updates on that. Uh, if you need more clarifications on any of our programs, you can reach out to us. We I will put our contacts and you know in the chat box and I have some other members of that committee here. Thank you. 
Thank you, Ismailia. If you have anything Sharif, to be shared again, uh, besides what Ismailia have shared, please, the mic is used. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we will uh, stop sharing the screen now and uh, your turn, uh, Wilson from uh, Indonesia section. Please, uh, I, I make you as a co-host so you can share your screen now. Are you with us, Wilson? Hello, yes. Yes, I will stop sharing screen now and you can share your screen now, okay? Uh, actually, our representative will be Shirley and Zilmi and they will, uh, will be a presenter for this session. Yeah, okay, Shirley, I, I make him. Shirley and Zilmi, yes. Yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Shirley, are you with us? Yes, yes. Yeah. I'm here. Yes, I will stop uh, sharing my screen now and you can share your screen to present your presentation or your section presentation. Okay. Okay. Maybe from Shirley, you can share the presentation. Okay, Jimmy. Okay, uh, is my screen available to all of you guys? Yes. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, I would like to continue, uh, to start this presentation, yeah. Uh, greetings from Balikpapan, Indonesia, and thank you for the opportunity from Young Member Engagement Committee uh, to uh, give the SP Balikpapan the opportunity to present today regarding our program in young professional and also distinguished lecture programs. Uh, before I would uh, we start our presentation, I would like to shortly introduce myself. Uh, I'm Shirley. I am uh, the member of Young Professional uh, Division from SP Balikpapan. And here I'm uh, together with my partner, uh, Zilmi. Maybe Zilmi, you can uh, shortly introduce yourself as well. Hello, hello. Hello, my name is uh, Zilmi Nugroho, I'm, I'm, and I'm also from a uh, young professional SPE by Papan section. Thank okay, oh, okay, thank you, uh, Zilmi. So without further ado, I think I would just go into uh, start presenting uh, the program of us uh, from SPE by Papan section. Okay, so this is the vision of a uh, vision and mission of SP Balikpapan section. Uh, our vision is to be the leader in technical and professional developments from petroleum industry, uh, especially in Asia Pacific region. To achieve that vision, uh, we have two main missions. Uh, the first one is to be the one stop shopping for a technical and professional developments through sustainable, innovative, and impactful programs. Uh, we are also to maximizing the member benefits and networking through our programs. In conducting our programs, we have uh, four main values, especially in young professional and distinguished lecturer programs. The first one is uh, technical dissemination and exchange knowledge. The second one is reaching out and external communities. The third one is member benefits. And the fourth one is industry immersion programs for students. This is to show you the members demographic of SPE Balikpapan section. We are proudly to announce that we are uh, up to today, we have uh, 268 professional members in SPE Balikpapan section. In the left-hand side, uh, in, the, uh, those, uh, in that bar, uh, pie chart, you can see our age categorizations of our professional members, which is uh, almost 80% of our members are young professional. 
And then uh, move to the right hand side of the presentations, you can see uh, the graph, uh, which are uh, the categorizations of uh, professional members in SP Balikpapan based on uh, their company, their work for, uh, which are coming from national all company, services company, and 63% uh, of Balikpapan's members are coming from uh, national all company Pertamina Hulu Mahakam. 160 out of 170 of our members are uh, from Pertamina Hulu Mahakam are permanent employees and the membership fee supported by the company. Apart from the professional members, we also have a student members coming from central and eastern part of Indonesia, which is coming from uh, three universities, uh, the Hasanuddin University, STT Midas Balikpapan University, and the third one is a Kalimantan Institute of Technology. Here are the uh, member growth of SP Balikpapan outlook uh, uh, for the past uh, for the past ten years. And as we can see in two thousand and twenty one, we are proudly to say that uh, we have a growth nineteen point sixty four percent compared to uh, previous year in twenty twenty in terms of members in professionals. And we also uh, and as you can see in the green uh, green line, you can see that we have a very significant growth as well in terms of student members. And uh, based on, uh, we have also uh, for the professional members, we have also some categorizations based on the company they work for and also based on uh, the job role that they are holding on, which is uh, based on the company category. Uh, our members are largely coming from national oil company and uh, working as an engineer. This is uh, SP Balikpapan highlights program during 2021. We have a philosophy that uh, to conduct the inclusive and impactful programs to all of our members. And the inclusive principles mean we are trying to, uh, uh, to uh, reach uh, as large as uh, members as we can, uh, in, uh, including pre-university and university students, recent graduates, professional, and also communities. Uh, based on our programs that we are conducted, we have uh, development outcomes, which are technical knowledge dissemination, accountable section operations, member benefits, reaching out, and innovation. And this year, we have also uh, flagship programs, which is SPE Gaia Sustainability Program. Here are the people behind the Young Professional and Distinguished Lecture Program from SP Balikpapan section. In the left-hand side, you can see the team of Young Professional Division, which is chaired by uh, Mr. Alviza Danista Susetio and I myself, uh, Shirley, uh, focusing in immersion programs in Young Professional. Uh, there is uh, John, uh, John Victor Sihan, which is uh, focusing on community outreach, and uh, Zilmi as well, which are uh, which is uh, with her, with us today here, uh, focusing in member benefits, and also uh, move to the right hand side. We have uh, a distinguished lecturer team, which uh, which is chaired by Mr. Jupriansha, and also uh, there is a uh, Mr. Abdel Muhammad Degati, uh, focusing in workshop and training program, and Miss Arofi Nurmida uh, as a distinguished le distinguished lecture programs committee. Uh, some of them uh, cannot attend today, but they are sending their warmest regards to all the young member engagement committee to uh, all of you guys. And this is our uh, first uh, core values that uh, we have uh, already is, uh, we already uh, showed to you in previous uh, slide, which is the technical dissemination and exchange knowledge. We are proudly to announce that uh, up to this year, in 2000, uh, up, uh, this year, 2021, we have conducted 27 virtual events, which is uh, in average three events per month. And this is the outlook of our pro uh, publication towards our event. Uh, there are young professional luncheon, uh, ambassador lecture programs, SP Indonesian series collaborating with another sections uh, in Indonesia and also SPE virtual talks. Total registrations towards our event up to 1,300 people with attendance rate of 65%. In conducting this program, we are collaborating with so many national and international oil company, services company, the representative of government of Indonesia, and also national and international communities. This is our uh, annual flagship program in 2021, especially from Young Professional Division. In this year, we have an ambassador lecturer program and the new innovative programs is Young Professional Luncheon. 
Uh, for as for the ambassador lecture program, this program is the event that initiated by the young member engagement committee with the objectives to help educate, uh, inform, and develop the skills of the next generations. Uh, in this ambassador lecture programs, SP Balikpapan section collaborating with the student chapters inside the Balikpapan section area in the central and eastern Indonesia, with the participants uh, are coming from students of any major, mainly from engineering. The topics that we are covering in this ambassador lecture program, uh, including technical oil and gas, professional career or experience, which are the details of the topic can be seen by uh, at the by, uh, uh, pie chart at the below, at the uh, presentation below. Uh, compared to uh, and at this year, uh, ambassador lecture programs and also young professional uh, luncheon, we have uh, uh, we have increased one program in terms of ambassador lecture program and two new programs of uh, young professional luncheon at this year. As we know that uh, we are conducting this event uh, virtually, uh, more uh, uh, due to the global pandemic hits. Uh, there are several opportunities and also challenges while we are conducting uh, this program. The opportunities that we may get is uh, since we need, uh, we held our event virtually, that we have a broad range of speakers and participants to invite to our uh, event. And then the second one is uh, since the meetings are uh, conducted online, so uh, it is uh, more flexible in terms of uh, the participants and also the time. And the third one is uh, based on those previous two points, well, we can reach a broader professional networking and collaboration with several parties. And also it comes with the challenges as well. Uh, one of them is uh, we are having a less efficiency in terms of monitoring our participant engagement and uh, in, uh, in our event. And also the second one is uh, more expenses in terms of online platform licenses. And here is another annual flagship program that is conducted by a young professional and distinguished lecture divisions of SP Balikpapan section this year, which named Central and Eastern Indonesia Petroleum Summit, which is the annual event that is conducted in 2021. There are three main events in this uh, event, uh, which mean uh, which are uh, young professional inspiring talks inviting uh, the professional figure from, uh, from oil and gas industry and also entrepreneurship world. And then the second one is student energy cash challenge, uh, which, are, uh, which are consisting teams, uh, consist of students uh, from universities in central and eastern part of Indonesia, monitored by uh, one mentor from uh, professionals in oil and gas company. And then uh, the third one is a uh, panel discussion and also main summit, which are inviting the prominent feature and also inspiring feature from oil and gas industry, uh, ranging from oil and gas company and also representative uh, from uh, uh, government of Indonesia and also international organization SP International. I think uh, that's uh, all from uh, my side. I think I would give the stage uh, to Mastilni to present. Okay, thank you, Charlie. So now is the is about the community outreach and connection. So uh, overall, we have done eight program uh, that consists of three SPE cares program, two energy for me program, and three Gaia sustainability program. Uh, from this event, the total impacted people are up to three hundred and fifty people in eight different locations. And we have the collaboration. Uh, we have we in collaboration with our organization organization partners such as Student Chapters, Indonesia Biru Foundation, Carbon Ethic, Sunbear Foundation, and so on. And here are the list of our activities. Like we donate uh, for your young meeting orphanage. We conduct the English boot camp collaboration with the Epic Papan. We conduct the SPE three program, uh, mangrove ecology ecology workshop and tree planting coral adoption and restoration program and and so on and uh, in the next slide, uh, in the next slide we uh, uh, here are the uh, several pictures the several highlight from this event so this next uh, Shirley. so here here are the uh, several highlights uh, from uh, the event that i have told uh, before so we clean up beach we we clean up the beach, we uh, donate the books, and then we creating a teaching class uh, 
for some children in, uh, around Balikpapan. And then we visited uh, Sunbird Conservation and Give Donation. And also we uh, conducted uh, English boot camp uh, in cooperation with EF within the Energy for Me uh, event. Next, uh, okay. This one is Gaia Sustainability Program. So here we in collaboration with uh, IBF, Indonesia Biru Foundation. So uh, you can, as you can see here, the, uh, these are the activities that uh, we have uh, we have done. So we with IBF we uh, plant um, mangrove trees and we also clean up the swamp. And not to mention, we also did the coral restoration and plantation program. So this these are actually to promote uh, our to promote the environmental awareness and. This is this is uh, as uh, an effort from us to protect our earth. Okay, and then this is uh, member benefit and social engagement. So as you can see here, there are some benefit uh, that can be acquired uh, if you are a member of uh, SPE Balikpapan section. For instance, you can uh, get discounted price uh, discounted price for join uh, the course and workshop from uh, from us. Then you can be nominated. Uh, you can be get the get the opportunity to be nominated in the Chips Award, uh, and uh, briefly you can uh, join the SPE Fun Quiz with door prize, SPE Monday, uh, SPE Monday inspiring quotes, uh, get the opportunity uh, being member Award of the Month, uh, join the SPE Volunteer, uh, listen to the SPE podcast, and join the SPE Mentoring Program. And the, the next one is student immersion program. So actually, this program uh, is to is our dedication to enhance our student chapter, our student chapter uh, like STT Migas. Uh, oh, the the several the several activities that we conducted is like we give the scholarship for our student chapter for uh, like STT Migas, uh, Sanudin University, and then Kalimantan Institute of Technology and Patimura University. And, and then we also support uh, in form of funding and mentoring to overcome the competition ahead for our student chapter, uh, such as uh, Petrobol Asia Pacific Regional Qualifier. And then we also created uh, some uh, competition event like Student Energy Quest Challenge within CHIPS event 2021. And then we also created a competition event, uh, Student Innovation Challenge 2000, 2000, 2021. This is internal competition within SPE Balikpapan section and targeting for uh, our student chapters, targeting uh, for the participants. And then we also give uh, speaker support uh, to talk, to share the knowledge to the student, to the our student chapters. And last but not least, we also have the field development series here. Uh, it is like a plan of development workshop. We we invited uh, we invite we will invite. Uh, Many speakers, many outstanding speakers, especially from uh, oil and gas industry, to to give the knowledge uh, to our student uh, to uh, to the participant in that uh, joining in this event, and then it it, it will be uh, opportunity. It it will add the experience to the participants uh, regarding about the uh, oil and gas industry. We will. Uh, study about uh, study from the subsurface uh, part uh, to the uh, until the eval uh, economic evaluation. It is a word to join. And next, okay, this is uh, these are our these are the highlight uh, of the event that uh, have been done. So we have had the first uh, the first webinar for from from field development series in the upper left here. And then we also have done the student innovation challenge that uh, start from October until the early, uh, this early December. And also we, this is our highlight uh, in, uh, in terms of a uh, university scholarship program and the scholarship recipient and also ambassador uh, lecture program. Not to mention, uh, we also uh, support uh, this, uh, this is highlight to uh, that proof that we support the student in Petrobol Asia Pacific Qualifier 2021. And it is uh, 
for your information, uh, one of our student chapter here, uh, it is uh, this this event is hosted by one of our student chapter. That is uh, SCT Migas Balikpapan, and we very appreciate of it. Okay, next. Okay, this is uh, our future program. So in the future, we will uh, make several events that focus on member benefits, uh, absolutely with the diverse topic, especially uh, we are going to the energy transition and low carbon initiative. And of course, we also want to improve our engagement and student assistance. In more detail, in more detail, we want to collaborate with, with Java, SPE Java and SPE Sumatra uh, to create SPE Indonesia series uh, with uh, the first topic, of course, uh, of the virtual talk, but uh, both technical and non-technical. And also, we want to establish SPE Balikpapan Section Gaya Summit 2022 and Central Eastern Indonesia Petroleum Summit in 2022. Uh, to mention, we want also to uh, en enhance or improve our uh, engagement internally internally for uh, to our member within SPE Balikpapan section. Uh, so we plan to create a gathering event in the next year. And uh, lastly, we also want to continuously give the scholarship for the education assistance for our uh, student chapter. And we want to broaden our perimeter to the other university like, Mulo, like Mulawarman University. Uh, Patimura University and the university uh, on the on Papua on the eastern part of Indonesia. Okay, uh, this is our accomplishment of uh, that have been received uh, from uh, for SPE Balikpapan session, and then uh, this is uh, we we have we have been received the presidential award for outstanding section, and. Uh, and for, uh, to our student chapter, to two of our student chapter, Hasanuddin University and STT Migas Balikpapan student chapter. We also have the award, uh, member retention award 2021. Uh, not to mention um, here, uh, here um, Mr. Concept Harun Wicaksono and Mr. Wilson Supriyadi personally have the award from SPE, got the award from SPE. Mr. Sri Concept Harun Wicaksono uh, got the award 2000 uh, as to, as the, has been awarded as the recipient of 2020 Regional Outstanding Young Member Award and also the Outstanding Content Creators from the way ahead. And Mr. Wilson Supredi has been awarded as 2020 Regional Public Service Award for South Asia and the Pacific region. And both of uh, them, uh, must, uh, must, Mr. Sri Konsep Harumi Chaksono is a former president of SPE Balikpapan section and currently uh, Mr. Wilson Supriyadi is the uh, current president of the chairperson of uh, SPE Balikpapan section. Okay, uh, we are reaching, uh, approaching the end of uh, our slide. So don't forget to follow us or in our social media. We have Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Twitter. And also we have uh, our own website here in the following link. In the, in the following link. So uh, once again, don't forget to visit and follow us to see our recent activities. And then this is the end of our uh, presentation. Uh, so that's all that we wanted to share to all of you from SPE Balipapan section. Thank you very much for your attention. Don't forget to keep moving forward and making progress. Thank you. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you, Vinali, for uh, your uh, informative presentation about your section. Thank you uh, for that. And uh, at the end, if anyone have a question for you, we will have a Q&A session at the end of, uh, of Town Hall. So uh, please stop sharing the screen. Um, now it's a turn for a Singapore uh, section. Uh, Ken, uh, I think you are already in. We have Chi Ken We, uh, who will be the presenter of uh, SPE Singapore uh, YB section. So uh, please share your screen to have your presentation in the town hall. Yeah, uh, just give me a minute. Yes, I make you as a co-host so you can share your screen now.
these all attendees don't forget to submit your questions uh, or uh, write your question down in the chat box and we also we have a q and a session at the end of the presentations of sections to have a discussions about your insights about your suggestions about your questions for the events have been presented by ymec team or by uh, section chairs okay thank you Yeah, uh, can you see my screen now? Yes, we see uh, the screen and your voice is clear. You can okay. stop. Just let me stop. Yeah, can you see now? Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, uh, well, good afternoon. Uh, Good morning or good evening, everyone. So uh, my name is Kenny. So uh, today I just uh, um, present on behalf of SPA Singapore section. Okay. So uh, the first thing is I would like to uh, introduce uh, our section uh, committee members. So uh, actually on the top left, uh, we have our this, uh, chairperson, uh, Trump, and then uh, we have uh, the rest of the committee. Actually, uh, I'm the so-called like the uh, membership uh, chair. And the young member section is uh, Joseph uh, Ma. So uh, Joseph uh, representing the, the young member sections. So here actually uh, we have a very diverse uh, background and engineers working in different uh, so-called like, uh, you know, uh, oil and gas uh, industry to represent the committee. So uh, the only thing that we, we would want, want to share with the section is like, you know, uh, in fact, uh, Singapore is a small country and maybe considered a city. So they are not really a lot of so-called like uh, young members or students uh, you know, get involved, right? So uh, later on, I will share with you uh, what's the, the things that you know, we are done in the past, uh, try to engage uh, the young members or the students, okay? So uh, nevertheless, uh, our committee is uh, very uh, so-called engaged. Uh, you know, we try to uh, you know, reach out to all these uh, students, uh, young members or young engineers uh, just uh, graduated uh, from the university. But you know, because uh, for the last uh, two years, it's, it's uh, very challenging because of the COVID situation. But we still try to uh, keep contact with the so-called like the university professor, try to like, you know, engage the young members and so the students. Okay. So uh, I, I would like to share with you, like, you know, uh, when I meant that, like, you know, the young members in our uh, Singapore section is like, uh, unfortunately, uh, we, we don't have like, any student chapters. So our young members are mostly uh, recruited, uh, so-called like through the university graduates when they are started uh, working in the industry, then we try to uh, reach out some of their colleagues in the company if they know uh, any of the new one, new uh, young engineers joining the section. So we try to uh, engage them and encourage them to join. So, uh, uh, so in this case, I can see uh, there's a breakdown of our Singapore uh, membership. So uh, we only have a very uh, little uh, student membership. So we have uh, less than uh, so-called like uh, 15. These are the mostly uh, uh, university students in National University of Singapore. They are doing either their bachelor degree, master degree, or some of them even doing their uh, PhD research. Yeah, so this is the breakdown of the uh, profile in Singapore, right? Okay. So uh, uh, activity in the past, actually, uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, last two years because of the COVID, right? so uh, that's a, a bit uh, challenging. But nevertheless, uh, we still have a lot of uh, so-called like uh, distinct uh, lecture talks. Like, you know, in, instead of uh, some of the, these uh, talks and, you know, we organize like uh, pre-COVID time, we still are seeing the young members and the students uh, come into our section. Right and then, uh, because after the COVID, uh, so called like the uh, circuit breaker and everything, then we have uh, less uh, so called physical uh, contact and the uh, physical meeting. But if you look at this one here, like you know, the first session, like you know, we even uh, engage uh, the National University of Singapore, we try to like you know, go down to the university to give a so called membership talk to the students and uh, engage them to try and uh, ask them to, to join us. Yeah. And, and if you are interested in a more uh, so-called like uh, past activities and everything and so on, you can actually always uh, visit our Singapore section website. Then you can find out the, the most recent one. But uh, 
most of them actually are, are on the distinguished lecture that have uh, been done uh, virtually. Okay. All right. So uh, these are the selected uh, so called uh, the photos. Like uh, you know, when we have uh, still have this uh, physical uh, hall at, at different locations, like uh, you know, uh, all the committees and members and, and some of the students as well from the university. You know, we uh, attend this talk and then like you know, we try to uh, engage them, and so that you know we have a very lively discussion. Try to understand what the industry is going on, and then like how we can so-called like the mentor or the guide the young uh, so-called like the students and young engineers, like you know, how they can navigate the oil and gas industry. Yeah. And yeah, so uh, this is uh, something that pre uh, so called like uh, a bit of uh, old uh, activities that like, you know, we try to uh, engage our students and uh, you know, the young engineers. The like, first one, like, you know, we organize a so called like check up break visit. And this one is very, very, very uh, well received by the so called like the young members, uh, engineers, and even some of the senior members. They're also like, you know, asking, like, do we still have uh, this kind of uh, so called like the side visit? Because uh, this one they find is a very interesting because I uh, you know those are uh, young members they just uh, started their career in one guess they really love to go down to this kind of uh, so called like side visit right because some of them maybe there's an uh, office bound they are doing in front of their computer but you know if there's an opportunity to visit the checkup rate they'll be like you know very very excited because they can see the real thing in, in action right but uh, unfortunately uh, after the 2015 you know, the oil and gas industry uh, in Singapore particular is not uh, doing well. So we, we, we kind of like uh, lost this kind of uh, opportunity to, to visit the, the site already. Yeah. So uh, this is uh, another uh, activity uh, we organized uh, for the young members and also like the students. Right? So we visited the uh, uh, so-called uh, multi-phase uh, flow loop for oil and gas industry in National University of Singapore. So in this case, I know we also try to uh, engage uh, young members, let them know that actually in Singapore itself, there are a lot of uh, so-called uh, research and development uh, going on in the oil and gas industry, not just uh, what they are doing in the office, uh, you know, but actually in the uh, National University, there are a lot of programs uh, supported by the Singapore government so that you know they can know that why is the latest uh, research uh, being done in the university so that they will know that how they apply this uh, so-called like the four final wage in the oil and gas industry. And this one is like, you know, uh, we also receive a lot of feedback from the young members and also like the young engineers because I like, you know they always thought that what they learned just in the textbook, but after they have visited the research lab, they're kind of uh, very impressed. Like, you know, actually, there, there are still a lot of things that you know, need to be done in the oil and gas industry to help them to gain their knowledge and, and apply this one. And yeah. So uh, other than the, the academic uh, you know, process of research, uh, we also visit this kind of uh, industrial uh, facilities so that you know, for those uh, uh, young members that might be working in different uh, you know, companies, different uh, oil and gas uh, uh, companies or industry, that different section because uh, oil and gas is uh, you know, very broad. Right? So you have uh, upstream, stream, and downstream. Uh, it's not that. If you are working in like, for example, for me myself, like artificial if you know that what other segment is doing anything. So in this case, I we, we got an opportunity to visit this uh bigger huge and GNE uh, manufacturing facility in Benoit. So uh, again, this one, like you know, we we brought the, the members and young members like right, all going to the manufacturing facilities so that they have a chance uh, to, to understand like you know how these like gigantic like, oil and gas. Uh, equipment like being manufactured like you know from the raw material and then what is the, the challenges the complexity and then even like the accuracy for the machine everything the machine are all these are on gas uh, uh, equipment so uh, in this case uh, we also receive a very good uh, feedback for the young members because I uh, you know uh, this one they say that you know this is a very wide uh, uh, very eye uh, opener because like they really learn a lot of things like right? you know how the manufacturing processes of the oil and gas equipment and then like you know they say that they never thought like some of the CNC machine like with the uh, five axis they can use for the oil and gas they just thought like sometimes it's just you know very simple uh, machining process and so on.
And also like, you know, uh, in uh, 2019, we got an opportunity to visit uh, Slumberjay. So Slumberjay got one uh, artificial leaf uh, manufacturing uh, center in Singapore. So in this case, I know actually uh, Slumberjay uh, actually uh, organized this one so that uh, what you can see here is a picture of uh, a group of uh, students. They're actually the master student from the NUS and the Institute of uh, French uh, Petroleum uh, Joint Master uh, Petroleum Program, right? The, the MBS students, right? They study in the uh, National University of Singapore. They're visiting this uh, Slumberger facility. So uh, again, uh, in this uh, facility, the students, the MBS student, got the opportunity to see, like, you know, how this uh, artificial lift equipment, for example, the electrical submersible pump, the protector of the steel section or the motor section or the gauge, right? In fact, manufacture, how they assemble together and then how they are being tested before they really ship for the so-called, I know, the, the oil fuel uh, deployment. So in this case, I know they also like uh, have a lot of uh, understanding like, you know, wow, our oil and gas equipment really is being uh, tested uh, calorie so they you know the reliability of this equipment is really at the tip-top condition, right? Otherwise, they, they will have a lot of feeling in the field. So again, like, you know, we receive a lot of uh, very positive uh, feedback for the students, also the professor, because like, you know, uh, the professor said that you know, uh, this kind of uh, activities uh, should be uh, organized uh, more often for the so-called like, young members, especially they are interested in the oil and gas industry, right? so that they have the opportunity to understand like, you know, how the work life life like you know after the graduate working mm. point in industry so and I'm, I'm i'm sorry for uh disturbing you we have only one minute for your presentation okay ah okay yeah i guess uh that's almost yeah the last slide yeah, yeah. so yeah yeah so this is uh just a brief uh, introduction to the singapore section so uh, if we, anyone reach out to us you want to understand more what we have been doing in Singapore please uh, you know, reach out to me Tran or even uh, Joseph uh, so we can share share with you okay thank you Jake uh, for your yeah. presentation about SPE Singapore section Sec next section was will be SPE Vietnam uh, I think uh, you have uh, the access now to uh, share your screen I will uh, Uh, yes. Mm, yes. Let me please. Chi, please stop sharing your screen, please. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So uh, uh, we will introduce SPE Vietnam uh, section uh, to Nuga and Hep Nuga for uh, for uh, be is a presenter of today uh, presentation about SPE Vietnam. We have only five minutes for your presentation. Please stick to time. So uh, we have overcome uh, the schedule time for the meeting over the town hall, okay? Right, okay. Okay, share your screen now. Right, so everyone see. Right, so there's a quick thing from us, uh, from Vietnam. So let's first, uh, let me introduce myself. So I'm Tu Nguyen, I'm the YB co-chair uh, of the Vietnam section. And uh, there's uh, another colleague of mine, is Hip. He's the current chair of the, the YB uh, chapter in Vietnam section. So let's go straight to our presentation. So we will talk uh, uh, about the four main points. First will be the current structure of our YP chapter within the Vietnam section. Second is the past experience, uh, what we have done and also the events that uh, we successfully organized. And also we will talk about some diff uh, difficulties that we faced uh, during uh, the last few years. So. And, also, and finally is the forward action and direction that we 
going to uh uh to do uh within the next years or the next few years uh with the new direction from it because to from uh this year i will be transferring my position or my 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 role as the chair to uh hip and i will just an advisor uh from 2022 and so first move on to the current structure so currently uh, uh the chair yp chair will be hip in our section and i'm the co-chair and so actually in numbers so what one in four or roughly one in four of the vietnam section is the um the white uh section officer is the yp and we uh some of the officer our yp officer are actually the uh in charge of three other chapters in within vietnam so uh within vietnam section so uh social chair social event chair continuing education and scholarship so so that's uh we also as the young professional chapter uh we also support the, the three uh the other three chapters here in vietnam and also we uh, do support other uh officer uh, the charity or uh, the sba uh, care as well as the the program chair uh, when required so also we are guiding supporting for a student chapter from vietnam and the four student chapter of, uh the vietnam patrol university hanoi university uh Hồ city and also the uh, uh university of science in community so it's actually the four university uh that uh around the uh, Vietnam from the north is the Hanoi and also from the south is to in the two cities Vũng Tàu uh, or Barrier and also the main base our main base is Ho Chi Minh City so with the past experience we actually moving into four main uh, uh, type of events so it's the networking events uh, social outdoor events uh, for training technical sharing so it's not uh, the the main technical from program uh, program section but it's more about the background or the general topics of the own gas so that uh, to actually build up the the knowledge for the student and also for the young professional and finally is the support uh, to the student chapters that we always do since 2018 until now so in the numbers in 2018, so we have successfully uh, overall delivered five to six events per year, with the average uh, attendance is 15 to 30 per event. But well, we had to look at uh, the social and outdoor events in a different part because it's a a, a, diff, uh, a totally different uh, type of events here and. Also, we organize at least one visit to each uh, student uh, uh, chapter university per year. So we actually trying to incorporate the ambassador program uh, since 2018, and we haven't. Uh, uh, and since then, we just uh, uh, going on, and we uh, we just like incorporate that as uh, one of the YP section, uh, YP chapter events for the university and so looking on the network event so there's three main points for the network event that we always talk about is the sharing experience and it's uh, and also a networking platform for the student for young professional with the, the speaker so every um every event we try to invite one of the key figures in uh, some of the uh uh a company some of the international company or even the the national company the big national companies so that like for the student and also young professional to uh actually uh get uh some of the, the personal experience from from the speaker as well as to for for them to even like to mingle uh to to mingle uh in each other as well so and since 2019 
2019, end of 2019, and we come up with one of the successful event is the morning coffee talk. So that's the uh, the talk uh, is a more a, a more a small and uh, cozy event for uh, uh, every like in, in happening in in weekends so that like for student and for for speaker to uh, be at ease and then uh, uh, be at ease and have a good uh, networking platform there. Uh, so moving on to social outdoor events. So what I'm talking about social outdoor events uh, is different than the normal YP events because we actually supporting with the uh, social event officer uh, here in Vietnam. So we are inviting roughly 13 to 15 of the uh, uh, oil and gas company to join and uh, uh, to, to, uh, to create a team of uh, the football team uh, every year. So we successfully done that in 2018 and 19 with the total uh, participant is around 108, uh, 130 people uh, attendance and participation. But uh, unfortunately, COVID pandemic have uh, uh, changed uh, a lot uh, for us during the last two years so that we cannot, uh, are we unable to like, continue the, the outdoor event uh, since 2020, so it's been two years uh, without the outdoor events uh, like this. And so regarding the training and technical sharing, so two main points here is the focus of general on gas background. So it's the, uh, the basics of uh, an oil gas uh, industry, so that for student and for graduate or even the young professional to catch up with the, the basic and also the soft skill so ready for student and graduate so we also cooperate with the some of the the oil company so that we can like um uh get the the venue from uh, some of their office uh, for each of the events, such as the what you see in the picture is uh, the one from Murphy Oil uh, office in, in Vietnam. So this is uh, one of the, the great way for us to like to connect uh, the uh, the chapter our SP Vietnam section with the with the the, the oil and gas company as well, and also for the student and also for the graduate to see how the environment of the an office of a, a operator or the uh, service company on gas company look like. Uh, so regarding to the soft skill event, we mainly focus in the, the two point here is the CV and interview skill and also initiatives uh, as uh, most of the, the students are lacking and uh, require further uh, help uh, with that. So that's the past experience for uh, from Vietnam. Uh, moving on is the uh the uh, final one is the student chapter support. So we uh yeah uh, every year we also go uh to the introduction day of uh, each uh, university to promote the SP Vietnam session and also uh. We also helping with the uh, charity chapter for some of the relief funds that we done in 2020. Uh, 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 yeah, in 2020. Uh, and finally is the support with the scholarship chapter uh, with the uh, successful program of the student grant in 2020. Uh, in 2020. And also we are currently doing the, uh, the scholarship program for this year, the, uh, yeah, the, the academic year of 2020, I, know, I mean 2021 and 2022. So it's going to be concluded in uh, 2022.
for, for this year uh, scholarship program. Uh, so move on to difficulties. To this uh, yeah. Unfortunately, you have only one minute. Please. Uh, uh, okay, right, right. Uh, I'll, I'll go fast with this one. Uh, with difficulties, uh, we have the mem membership retention. Uh, with the COVID uh, pandemic is worsening uh, our, our membership retention for the last two years as well. And finally, is the succession rate uh, transition within the uh, student chapter board that uh, uh, impact the decision, uh, student chapter board to efficiently uh, work uh, together and uh, have a good uh, impact with the, the student uh, within, uh, within the university. So here's the graph regarding to what uh, my main point about the uh, membership retention and even worse in the uh, two year uh, 2020 and 2021 for the COVID pandemic uh, due to some of the, the lockdown uh, happened in 2021 as well. That's what uh, why we have a downgrade again in the, the student number because the they a uh, university cannot uh, uh, do the introduction day event uh, during that time to actually promote our SD uh, section anymore for 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 during this year and uh, and yes for regarding to a succession transition within student chapter board so uh, this is a uh, main difficulties because uh, the reverse board and the uh, new board is not uh, in good communication during the, the last two years. Also one part because of the COVID pandemic. So the transition is not smoothly. And now we have to step in to like help with that as well. So what uh, I'm talking regarding to the power action and direction is uh, there's three points here. So focus on a virtual event meeting or a hybrid if a situation, situation permit. So if the COVID pandemic is uh, is uh, going down, we can be able to do an an um, face to face meeting is a better way for us because like for us in Vietnam, we see a good rate of turnout when it's a face to face meeting rather than a a virtual one. So it might be just because of the uh, 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 our local art uh, uh refer, uh, 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 reference. And secondly, is the connection with the recent grade and young professional. Actually, we have, uh, we are doing it right now and we actually invite the recent graduates uh, who are currently working in the uh, professional uh, uh, on gas company to actually go back and uh, give a talk to the students. So give uh, this, uh, the great grade, uh, recent grade to have their sense of uh, belonging. And this will help uh, us in the long term of uh, reconnecting and uh, engagement with the recent graduate. And finally is the quarterly student chapter meeting. This one is the first uh, we have done to trying to help uh, assist the student chapter in regard to uh, try to help them with the transition between the old uh, or the previous student chapter board with the new student chapter board. So, and also to help uh, the student chapter from four different university to, uh, to mingle and to also share the experience with each other. This way, as I would think it will help the student chapter to improve the event and also to be more active in the upcoming events as well. So that's all for from the Vietnam section. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you, Vietnam section, uh, for your presentation. We need to stop your screen now. Uh, that is your turn, Yusuf. Uh, Java Indonesia section for your uh, that is your turn for your presentation. Keep it short, please. You have only sure. five minutes for presentation. We're running late, so uh, we need to stick to time, please. Okay. 
Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mohammed, and all of the team. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank you for the great opportunity to present to you guys about our young professionals activities and uh, innovations this year. Um, I also invite all of our young member, uh, young professionals uh, members here in this in this in this room, and uh, I'd like to introduce all of you with them. Okay, uh, first of all, let me introduce ourselves first uh, as SP Java Financial Section. So here is our organization structure. So we just start our uh, stewardship period just in July 2021 until June 2022. And uh, myself, uh, Yusuf Alfian, I'm the chairperson of uh, the SP Java Financial Section. I'm also for engineer from uh, Premier Oil Indonesia. And let's focus on our young professionals uh, members. The young professional chair is uh, Bilal Medika Aslam. He is the lecturer of uh, at Institute of Technology Bandung, uh, but unfortunately he cannot attend today. Uh, next is um, Arfi Rahman. He is the managed pressure drilling engineer from Selamerje, Jakarta. Uh, also, Riku Rizkia Putra, a reservoir engineer from Metro Energy, and Rizky Lubis, a reservoir engineer at Pertamina, Hulu Indonesia. So um, I will keep it short. Let's let's focus on our uh, young professional activities. Well, uh, just a short introduction about our section and SP Java in number. Well, basically, we have 12 established chapters across Java. And uh, fortunately, uh, five of them, five of 12, uh, have received the Student Chapter Excellence Award uh, this year. But uh, we are aiming for uh, more by next year with assistance of our Student Chapter Liaison team to support the Student Chapter activities so that we can work together and hopefully we can aim for more awards by next year. And currently, we also, uh, we're also having an ongoing discussion with one of uh, one of the potential new establishment of student chapter by next year, hopefully. Talking about professional member and student member, well, actually SP Java, or we can say one of the biggest SP section in Indonesia, maybe in, in the world, because we, we have so many uh, student members specifically. Uh, as of, uh, late of November 2021, we have more than 500 professional members and 7,000 student members uh, by by last month. And uh, as we can see in the, in the, in the right hand side, uh, as of today, uh, our professional member have uh, has has grown positively compared to last year, and hopefully it will still be growing until the end of this year. But uh, we 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 are still looking for solutions to 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 uh, close the gap for our, our student members uh, compared to last year, but it's good achievement actually for this year. Well, uh, let's focus on SPJ for young professional programs. Well, uh, we have so many innovations and uh, new ideas that we that we introduced this year. Uh, unfortunately, we have so many various backgrounds in terms of expertise and uh, backgrounds. Well, uh, first of our program is a young professional class, which is a series of young professional event focused class, uh, which were uh, so far we have done it three times, three series, and we've done it very successfully. And our young professional class series one, where we invite a speaker from uh, Tesla, we have got more than 300 more uh, registrants and more than 200 live participants joining our event. So it was a very good, good event. And it also triggered us to, to create more after that. On top of young professional class, we also introduced a new program this year, what we call as SPE Company Roadshow that we held uh, previous months ago. So basically the, the main idea is that we want to invite the C-level executive from uh, energy company, from service company or technology development company to, to share the knowledge, to share their company perspective in, in things in energy uh, environment. So everyone from young professionals and students can understand the energy environment uh, today from, from the, uh, the C-level perspective. And uh, we, in, in this case, we collaborate with the Rockflow Dynamics with uh, its program, uh, with its product, which is T Navigator, first of our simulation program. 
And uh, in, in, in return, we, we asked them to just to help us to sponsor our scholarship program. So this kind of collaboration is something new that we introduced this year. And it was very success uh, event. We have more than 200 participants joining our event uh, that day. And in the upcoming days, we also have SPH or Verums, which, which will be led by uh, Arfi, who is one of our young professional member. So we also invite everyone from other sections or across the globe to, to join our event uh, in SPHR Forum. On top of that, we also have so many bucket lists actually in our mind today. One of them is SP mentoring programs that we are going to discuss and execute by a couple of months later on. And international SP section collaboration, this is one of our plan. Uh, currently we have discussed with several international uh, outside as a Pacific section to, to collaborate with them, but uh, we are still in discussion uh, phase. Uh, hopefully we can execute that by uh, sometime next year. And uh, in the next two months, we focus on SPE student case, uh, student case study competition that we are going to hold uh, in conjunction with our big event, uh, annual event in February, and also the SPE uh, young professional workshop too in February. So. I basically, this year we, we have several values that we bring uh, to, to in, and introduce to our uh, members. First of one is that we want to provide uh, best events for our members or non-members so that uh, we can grow our brand awareness with a free event. So we don't have any uh, tariff for uh, our event. So we just want to focus to engage more with our member or non-members so that we can uh, we can spread the SPE name uh, across Indonesia, basically. And we, we aim for huge participation from this free event. And then we also invite our members to join our event as part of our committee or also speakers and be more inclusive with them. And last thing is one of them uh, is by embracing collaboration with uh, member with student chapters and also uh, industry. Beyond young professional events, well, basically we have so many events so far since July until this date. Um, young professional class is one of part of the young professional events. But on top of that, we also have member virtual talks, distinguished lectures, uh, SP technical discussion group where we focus on senior professional, where we discuss um, more specific te technical issues. And uh, we have so many uh, event basically uh, for, for the last uh, six months. And it was very successful event. And uh, yesterday, just, just yesterday, we, we have done a SP Tech Talks where we collaborate with Wellbore Integrity Solutions so that they can, uh, they can promote their product and they can share the, the advancement of their product. And in return, they also sponsor our scholarship program. So this, this, this kind of, uh, uh, unique, unique initiatives uh, can, can help us to, to sponsor our uh, scholarship program, which is very good, which is something new that we have uh, this year. On top of that, uh, in February, we have one of our main events this year, uh, what we call as SPE Java Indonesia Annual Energy Symposium, uh, that we, we have so many uh, high level executive uh, speakers at that time. Uh, at, that, at that event, we have pre event and post event. And we will inform it to you uh, later on uh, with more details by following our social media. So, uh, well, basically, SP Java are really keen to collaborate with any international SP sections for any joint event. That's, that's one of our main value this year. And we also invite everyone from everywhere to, to participate uh, in our uh, event. And also, we will love to participate too in your section event. Uh, despite of the of the distance if it is uh, held online and uh, we all really hope that we can strengthen on uh, section communications relationship among others with all other uh, sections well i think that's all uh, i hope that was uh, short enough for uh, all of you thank you very much that's all from sp jeff and don't forget to follow our social media on linkedin and instagram thank you very much thank you Thank you, Yusuf, for taking your time. Please stop your share, sharing your screen.
Okay, uh, thank you all of you. I'm sorry for being late for you today and it's town hall and not sticking time, but we have a lot of activities from sections of the IMEC. I will be uh, brave about how to join us. If you are a fresh graduate or uh, under the age of 35, you can join us in the League of Volunteers and why make many volunteers opportunities. We have, and as Orhan have said before, that we have looking for volunteers. Uh, you can join us uh, during the link uh, shared in our LinkedIn profile. And also we have an opportunity in the League of, of, uh, of, uh, of Volunteering, what I have shared now with you, all of you. And also uh, we have uh, to summarize that um, um, some, some, something like, we have emerging leader aliens application. It is very, very worth uh, a course. We will have another session about this especially, but you need to apply to very, very valuable opportunities for all YPs uh, around the world to share uh, and have an intensive leadership course. I have attended last year. So it's very, very good for you to uh, apply for this opportunity. Now we have 10 minutes for question and answer. If anyone have a uh, question, please uh, uh, um, unmute yourself and ask a question to YMEC committee member and also for YB chairs, okay? Anyone have a question? Hi, Mohammed. Uh, can, can I ask about the last poster you, you, you show? The, about the emerging leaders? Yeah, okay. Take your time. Uh, what, what kind of event is that? Yes, uh, I think uh, we have uh, an online, uh, something like, uh, it is uh, an emerging leader. It is, is mainly a course for leadership uh, organized by different societies and the organizations. Uh, we nominate an SPE seven or two to uh, eight members from SPE to attend this conference. Uh, the details we will have um, in the next uh, month, we will have an online event about emerging leader aliens, about questions and answer about this event. And you can see uh, our posts on a LinkedIn profile I have shared with you uh, in this chat box. You can enter uh, and go ahead for our uh, committee uh, or YMEC LinkedIn profile. And you can apply by the link I have shared with you uh, about ELA, Emerging Leader Aliens. It's application and after you have been selected, you will go for Emerging Leader Aliens. It is partially sponsorship or sponsored by SPE to go and uh, attend this conference. We will have another, um, another uh, event or another town hall about this event, especially and the Q&A uh, session for that. Okay, uh, could you please share this slide for, for us? Please, Mohammed. I will share. I will share. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, I think um, all of us have questions during the session itself. So. If you have a questions, I have shared with you uh, our uh, profile and uh, our email about YB uh, at sp2.org. And you can uh, send us in our platform or LinkedIn profile uh, platform. So uh, hope you enjoy this event. Uh, at the end, we need to open our cameras to take our uh, SP per, uh, screenshot, uh, especially it is virtual. So uh, if you are able to open your camera and take the photo at the list of this event, please. Okay. Okay. Okay, we have all of us. Okay, I will take the screenshot after one, two, three. One, two, Three. Thank you all of you for attending today. Uh, if you have another question, we have uh, another session at 2 p.m. UTC num uh, time zone. So uh, you can share with us questions and insights during our mails. 
during the next town hall and during our uh, LinkedIn profile and uh, social media platform. Thank you all of you and have a nice day. Bye bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sadaf. Thank you, Sharp.